Hi everybody, Dangerous Minds. This is part four of the Kobach Kessinger face-to-face interview that took place in the Lakewood, Colorado offices on the 23rd of August, 2018. Okay, so there's a lot of messages. I know, but then, like, yeah, then there's no 6th, 6th, 7th, or 8th, and then there's the 9th, but it's only one text, and then the 17th, one text. And you guys text how many times? All the time. I bet you guys have hundreds of messages that you need to recover, but yes, so here's the 11th. Well, look, there's only one from the 11th. Can I just see what he said? Yeah, yeah, days? yeah. And then the only text I think might be out of order, might, is the one at the very end. So the 10th, oh, you went to you went to the Rockies game? Yeah. Okay. I didn't see him that day. That was with my friends, but I stayed with him that night. Okay, so this one's on Sunday night. Yeah, that's At 4 or 7 p.m. What's he talking about? Pounding fruit? Is that you or him? That's him. Talking. Oh, so he was talking about that, that birthday party he was going to go mm-hmm. to? Whoever was hosting it, I don't remember. Like, he told me the name once. But Jeremy? I forgot. I don't even remember, to be honest with you. Like, the only names that I remember very well is Nick and Mark. Those are the only two that I could be like, oh, yeah, like, I could tell you, like, maybe a little Those bit are his friends? People. Yeah. Okay. Um... But he went to the birthday party, and he said, oh, this guy always barbecues. And then he was saying, oh, he didn't barbecue, so he was saying he had fruit and asparagus. Um, yeah, didn't do any smoke barbecue okay. all the time. He did hot dogs, so he was saying he avoided that. He was, like, trying to eat healthy. So this is the final one. This is the one. I don't know if this is in order. I'm not sure exactly what this is referring to. I think this one at the bottom is, oh, my God, that's absolutely ridiculous. They would freak out. That, do you remember when I told you, like, I was always trying to, like, incorporate his kids and stuff? I mean, even if it wasn't, like, directly, like, me and him, but just, like, I was always thinking cute stuff when I'd see stuff, and I was like, oh, my God, little girls would like that. I would show him, and I found this box of Lucky Charms that was Unicorn Lucky Charms, okay. and I thought they were really cute. And I texted it to him, and I was like, do your little girls know about these? Because they're awesome. And I was like, little stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that that's the 13th. Because I don't think I talked to him that day. What day was the 13th? I can't it's remember. Monday. Was it Monday? I think. I gotta look. Because I can't. I think it will. No, well, then maybe these are in order. Monday was the day, I think, that I sent that text. Yes, that's Monday morning at 2.44 p.m. So that's an afternoon. Monday. Does that sound right? Yeah, I was at work when I texted it to him. So that fits. Okay, so then it is in order. So it is in order. So and this, this makes sense. Because that's Sunday, right? That's Sunday. Okay, so they're so they're in order. They're just missing a whole bunch. So he's, been, he's basically saying he's still at that barbecue. Barbecue, and that fits. Okay, perfect. All okay. Right. So, so no, so then this one is in the right place. Yep. I was thinking 8.13 was Tuesday, and I'm like, I don't think him and I had a very pleasant conversation on Tuesday. You want to screenshot all those to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's start with And then, How do you I turned this off, but... Oh, this is so weird, you like ninja chop it. <laughs> oh, I think that worked. Okay, so that takes us down to 6.29, so then I'm going to scroll up to 6.30. Ninja Chop. Interesting. It's old. Old school. I had to do a Scott's Reconnaissance like, mission at my house last night. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not like it. Oh, boy, this is scary. That's cool. I got to look at it, so I'm also going to go back. I Okay. So, what you're doing now, let me ask you about the text with you in Charlotte. Yes. You talk about children and he's got his own kids and that makes you kind of uncomfortable because you'd like to have your own family. It, it, put that in context for me. Does that is that a fair statement the way I'm saying it? I mean, I guess. That was never anything I like said to him though. Okay, that's what I want to know. Did you ever say anything to him never, about like never um, anything about his kids being a problem? Nope. Anything about his wife being a problem? Never. Never. Mm-hmm. I always try to be so inclusive with them. And even when her, with her, when I was talking to her, it wasn't 
that his kids were an issue. It was just this man already has a life. Should I go build my own? You know, with somebody who hasn't done that yet. And then she was the one that was saying, you know, I was engaged once and it didn't work, and now I'm engaged again. And she's trying to tell me like. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm on my second time of going through this. And she's like, I love this man very, very much. And she was saying, like, he's not going to love you less because he's already been through marriage once and been separated and already had kids. Like, he's not going to... Those references were never made to him, though, about Never, never. So Charlotte, that's who you were talking with. Yes. Did you one time tell me Charlotte's a lesbian? No, she's engaged. Okay. <laughs> you, were you talking about one of your friends that might have been a lesbian at some point? That's not the case. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't. You, you never said that about any of your friends that I inquired about? I don't think okay. so. I don't think so. <laughs> I think on the first day we <laughs> talked with your dad there, we had I inquired about Charlotte. Um, yeah, you asked me about Charlotte and E Harmony, and I like went through right. my text and I was like, "What is he talking about?" And I couldn't find it, so I was wondering if maybe somebody like referenced both of those two, but not in together. Okay. I'm wondering if that's where that came from. So Charlotte is your friend; she's your closest friend. Yeah. You guys have this conversation, but it never went anywhere besides her and you. Yeah. You never, would... never mentioned it to Chris. You never said anything about your kids or his kids. Pardon me. Damaging your guys' relationship? No. Or nothing like that? Never. And I mean, and even in that, it wasn't like I, I never said that his kids were a problem. It was just like he already has a life. Like, I don't know about right. that. So, in light of what's occurred, though, what I'm trying to make sure is that there was never a conversation that you guys had that he might have thought that you. Um, we're saying I can't be with you if you have kids. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be with him if I couldn't. Okay. So I'm just that. making 100 percent sure that those. I promise you. Okay. Like, well, I really want you to get both these texts because all the stuff I've been telling you will like. Okay. Think of. And I hope we can. <laughs> I haven't been very lucky with your phones yet. It's uh, been nothing but a pain. So this one's coming with me. Okay. I think. Jeez. I'm gonna. Some of these might be duplicates, but whatever. I'm gonna send these to you. Um, no, that was kind of something between me and her, and it wasn't even really the kids. It was that like he'd already been married before, and I was just like, I don't know if I like am in a long-term relationship with this guy. Is that something he would eventually want? Because that's something like I would eventually want. You know, I just. So your concern was more about his prior marriage than his children. I guess. I wasn't, honestly, I wasn't really that worried about him at that time. Like, if you read the majority of those texts, like, it's very, very flattering to him and all the many things that I have to say about him. It was just that I wasn't, like, 100% committed to him yet. I mean, I was monogamous with him. I wasn't seeing any other men. But I wasn't, yeah. like, hey, this is the guy I want to spend the rest of my life with. And part of the reason that I was uncertain, I mean, yeah, he'd already built a life, but honestly, like, he wasn't out of the marriage that he was already in. Right. So, I mean, I'm not going to go tell the whole world, like, hey, I've got this guy, and, you know, I'm going to take in his kids, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that, and it wasn't because I had any problems with them. It's just, he was married. Okay. Um, I know the context of that text now, like, looking at it looks so bad. You have to look at it from perspective that I'm looking at it yeah. and how it could be misconstrued or made out to sound something another way. That's why I wanted to give you the opportunity to say what it really means. Okay. No, I don't mean any harm towards those kids. I always thought they were so cute when he showed me those pictures. He was all about them, you know, and not only that, but it's like once you guys get those texts, you will see like there is not very much mention of his children. And if there is mention of his children, it's always like cute stuff where it's like, hey, you should show them this, or hey, this apartment's great for them, or you know, what do you think of bunk beds? And you know, like they, those little girls like remind me of me and my little sister. They're like the you same age. Right. Yeah, I mean, 
like it was so cute. Like he would call his little daughter, the younger one, CB, he called her Rampage. He's like, she's wild. And it used to just make me smile because my little sister was totally Rampage. <laughs> and it just was kind of like spot on, you know? And so like, it just kind of made me think like, okay, these guys are going through a divorce at the same age that I was at when my parents went through a divorce. And it's like, how did I handle that? You know, and I tell them like, you know, this is what happened when my parents separated and we were this old. And just try to like give him a reference because I gave a damn. Right, okay. Um. I mean, but just because I, I care about the him and I care about his kids and, and all of that doesn't mean that I'm ready to turn around and like commit Did he ever him. say anything like that? Like, do I have to get rid of my kids? Or no. Do he, I, you know? This shocked me just as much as I think it shocked the rest of the world. All of it. Like, he lies so much now. I go back and think about all this shit and I'm like, it's lies. Everything that he knew about him is like lies. I mean, his friends let him stay the night at their house. He even fooled them. It's not just me. He lied to everybody. He had all of you fooled. And everybody stood up for him. His friends stood up for him. I really thought she left. I was like, let her fucking go. You know, she'll come back in a day. She'll be all right. Let her cool down. She'll be here. It'll be okay. You know, like, how do we convince? Like, I think she's just upset. And then, and then, never would I guess. I mean, even now, when I go back through this stuff that I'm like, it doesn't make sense, you know, or it like seems a little off, that stuff still doesn't send a red flag to me like, hey, this guy's gonna murder his family. Sure. Yeah. I don't think there was any, you didn't have any indication in by all accounts. It doesn't seem like anybody did. No, I just, like, you know, sometimes I like, I don't have to think what that man is thinking because, like, you don't know, you know, but it's like, how long has his brain been, like, shifting to this par- this paradigm shift where he feels the need to do this? It's like, I just don't believe that it's something that just happens in a day or two days. I don't think it happens in two months. I think that this is something that takes a very, very long time to develop and I don't right so yeah. that scares you when you look back at it yeah because I like I think about it and I'm like he could have had that capacity to do that whether I was in his life or not he could have had the capacity to do that maybe not even just for them it could have been me it could have been our co-workers I mean the more I think about it I mean I think I think a lot of people are going to probably assume that I was the catalyst for his movement, but I don't think, you know, not me, like, instructing him, but him deciding to do that because he had me in his life and because he was so, like, infatuated with what we had going on, but, you know, like, I try to put the the reason to it at the end, like, why would you wipe out your family to be with me. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't like compute. It's like, how would that go? Like, hey, my family just disappeared and you think that I'm gonna just not be concerned about that? And not only that, like, he was so about those little girls and I always try to like push him to do that. Like I told you, like there'd be days where, where, like, he would want to come over to my house after work. I'd be like, no. Like, go hang out with your kids. Your kids are home. Like, that was me. It wasn't even him. That was me pushing that. And he would go do it, you know. And he spent time with them. But he was never like, oh, I don't want to hang out with them. He'd just be like, can I see you for a few hours? And I'm like, if your kids are awake, go hang out with your kids. You know, if they're asleep and you want to talk, you call me. But don't do that while they're up. Like, spend time with them. And, and, and I just, oh, my God. And that... And that that is the part that I have like the hardest part swallowing where it's like why would you take them out to spend time with me like 
it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit at all. Mm -hmm. You know, I... But you said he was infatuated with you. But even then, if he's so all about me, and I support him being with his kids, you would think that he would want to do what would make me happy. It's a good point. And so maybe what that's would <laughs> make me happy with him hanging out with his with kids. His kids. Mm -hmm. It's in texts, it's in phone conversations. Okay. I mean, so that's what you're saying, that doesn't... We'll look at it. It doesn't... I, I That one particular context in that just... It's so open, kind of the interpretation and whether or not you said it. That's why I wanted to address it in particular. Okay. okay. Yeah, there's nothing like that in our text. I can tell you that right now. Never. Did you send those? Yeah, I'm working on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> How'd you ever get any work done? You get sidetracked. I actually got a lot of work done. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. It's a lot easier in the open field than it was in the other one, so... Uh, Eight seven one nine five six nine zero nine nine eight. I am. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, don't send those to anybody else, please. Yeah. Let's see how many I can do at a time. Screenshot. Probably send them all. Oh. How about email? If you emailed it, could you select each one and attach it to the email? I just want to do it here so you know that I like doing um, it in its entirety. Okay. That's right, you don't have Wi-Fi on your phone, right? No, I don't have anything on here. I'm... Okay. I think this is all. This is going to be a slow process here, but I'm there with me. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like... Sometimes, sometimes. I legitimately think that that man's cheese is sliding off of his cracker long before 